evening friends how are you i hope you are all doing well today i'm going to show you how you can install mongodb on amazon linux 2 so uh, let's get started i am into my ec2 uh, dashboard i'm going to launch a new instance and then i'm going to install the mongodb over there so i'm going to click the launch instance button this is the new layout which is simplified and you know it contains only one page so let me give it a name mongodb server i'm going to choose amazon linux 2 uh, t2 micro i already have created a key pair if you haven't created any key pair just click on this button it will create a new key pair for the security group i'm going to create a new security group which allows http and https access then in the uh, IAM instance profile section, I'm going to create a new profile. If I have created this profile previously, but if, if you haven't created this profile, go to IAM and create a new profile for the EC2 instance. Then all other things you can keep as it is and click the launch button. I have an article in my website which explains how to install the MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2. So by default, the Amazon Linux repo doesn't have the MongoDB uh, configuration. What you have to do is to create a new repo file. And uh, this is the command that uh, I'm going to run. This article was written for MongoDB 4.4, but the latest version is now, I think, MongoDB 6. MongoDB latest version. Five. Yeah, MongoDB 6.0 is the latest. So what I'm going to do is just uh, copy this line. Now I'm going to replace the 4.4 with 6.0. So <clears throat> as I'm writing 6.0 is the latest, but if you see that 7.0 is the latest in your case, you can just replace that. So. um then uh let's click details of that instance i'm trying to connect to that instance via the ec2 session manager click connect so uh what I'm going to do is I'm going to first run the yum update part. So it will update all the yum packages. Then I'm going to clear this command. So I will copy this line. It will create a new uh, repo file. Then if I go to the uh, bottom of my article, I have written the content of the repo file. Just copy this, open in a notepad, and replace the value 4.4 with 6.0. Remember, 6.0 is the latest version at this moment, that is 30 July. If you are seeing this video later on, probably there is a new version available. So just replace the values based on your latest version. 6.0. So let's copy this. Press I to insert mode. Press the content. Click this button and save it. So now, if I uh, run this command, sudo yum install minus y mongodb or it will install the mongodb for me. So let's see. It 
it is installing the MongoDB 6.0, the latest version. This might take around one or two minutes time. So please have a cup of tea or coffee. Okay, just quick. Now let's uh, start the server. The command is sudo systemctl start mongodb. So the mongodb server started. Then I'm going to enable the service, which is sudo systemctl enable mongodb. After that, I'm going to check the status. This will tell me whether this service is up and running properly. If there is an error, it will show an error. So this is a green light, which means that my service is up and running. Now I'm going to connect to that MongoDB server by press typing Mongo SH. It will log into the local MongoDB server with port 27017, and then you can run some command over there. So uh, basically these are like uh, basic things that you can do uh, with Amazon Linux. It's pretty simple. I just installed the MongoDB in just five minutes. If you're running MongoDB uh, for a uh, like um, test purposes, you can use this uh, EC2 instance and set up your MongoDB server over there. AWS has a managed service for MongoDB, which is called uh, DocumentDB. Yep, the name is different because of licensing issue. MongoDB owned by someone else, whereas DocumentDB is like the exactly same MongoDB, but it's a different naming. It's managed by AWS. So anyway, it, it has a lot of other features like uh, you can create multiple clusters, you can create those read replicas, you can create point in time restorations, etc. This is actually suited for production. But if you just wanted to test some features or wanted to uh, have a development server, I guess this uh, MongoDB uh, installation on EC2 will save your money because it's really cheap. You can run it like as I shown to you, just only on EC2 instance with T2 micro, which is I think four bucks a month. So four to five bucks a month. That means you can run on MongoDB server on AWS with only four to five bucks per month. Whereas for the production level, I would suggest to use DocumentDB. It is a bit expensive compared to running on a standalone EC2 instance, but it has all those capabilities like read replicas, encryption at rest, point in time restoration, all those things are built in and you don't have to manage all those things. So that's it for me. Uh, I hope it helps you to uh, set up MongoDB for your uh, small level applications or test uh, applications, something you are just wanted to do some experience with MongoDB, play around it. Hope, have fun and subscribe to my channel. I will create more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.